I don't think I've ever before seen a documentary film as powerful as For Summer. The viewer is transported into the Syrian city of Aleppo to meet the men, women and children who suffered the brutal siege of their neighbourhood by forces of dictator Bashar al-Assad and his Russian allies. Structured presumably in post-production as a letter to filmmaker Waid al khatibs baby daughter Summer, who was born in the middle of the siege, the film is uncompromising in its graphic depiction of what life was like under constant bombardment and with dwindling supplies of food, water, fuel and medicine. Wyatt, who narrates the film, was a naive 18-year-old when she overcame the objections of her parents and went to study for a business degree at the University of Aleppo. When in 2011, in the wake of the Arab Spring, demonstrations against the regime began among students, Wyatt obtained a video camera and started filming. Over the next five years, Wyatt continued to film, usually under the most dangerous circumstances. There are, to be sure, moments of peace in this horror, but such pleasures are short-lived as bombs and shells and bullets shatter the neighbourhood. It goes without saying that this form of cinema on the run will not always look visually appealing. Scenes in which Wyatt, still filming, races towards shelter, represent handheld camera work at its most basic. But this is the real deal. It's not phony. And it places the viewer in the middle of the conflict. And against the odds, some of the images are strangely beautiful. Wyatt seems to have acquired a drone at one point that allows her to film the ruined city as the camera slowly rises above the wrecked and shattered buildings. There's one comforting thing about seeing this very discomforting film, and that's that Wyatt survived. She was able to transport all the material she filmed to London, where she edited and narrated the final result in collaboration with experienced documentary maker Edward Watts, who's credited as co-director. During the post-production process, her narration questions her own motives for staying in the war zone with an infant child, but she's clearly deeply devoted to both the city of Aleppo and to the cause for which those around her fought so tenaciously. I'm giving four salmon four and a half stars.